guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames if you're new here subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell and join the family in this video guys we're gonna talk about an article that came out from the daily mail and they basically said that they reached out to sources close to kim kardashian and kim kardashian is feeling demoralized by Lauren Prichetta lawsuit against Ye. So the exact title is Kim Kardashian is demoralized by the sexual harassment allegation against ex-husband Kanye West and is desperately hoping Lauren Prichetta claims are false for the sake of their children. Now, when people see, you know, reports like these, they're like, oh my God, Kim is right. And I definitely side with her. But if we're being realistic, both parties have experienced this at some point in time. If you guys remember, Kris Jenner's bodyguard, former bodyguard, sued her for sexual assault, not even harassment, and she settled out of court. And you know who he named as witness? Courtney. Just imagine someone suing you and saying that your child was witness to this. As a matter of fact, your child took part in it, right? No. When that suit came out, many of us believe that it's something that Kris Jenner would do because we see how she acts around a tall, handsome, thick black man. She loves those chocolate, okay? But Courtney, it was definitely not believable when it came to Courtney. Could not see Courtney doing that, right? So when they say that Kim is just tired of his racist rants and, you know, him being always in the media, both parties have been in the media. They even know people are looking back at past clips of Kim and Chloe. They were having racist friends too. Because when people are dragging Kim on the internet saying that she loves black men and she's obsessed with black men, um, there's a video of Chloe saying, yes, tell them you love N-I-G-G-E-R. And yes, you would do this and you love to F-U-C-K them. So both parties they have, you know, at some point in time, come on the fire for the same thing. This is like, you know, uh, this is like an unpleasant norm for celebrity. So I don't understand why they always make it seem as though, you know, when Ye goes through something, it is so appalling. Ye is always doing something wrong. Sometimes, not because Ye is targeted, it doesn't mean that he's necessarily doing something wrong. However, at the same time, providing that what the media is saying Kim said is factual, I can definitely understand her position and I definitely agree as well. We all hope, but, I, but I'm not going to say I hope because anyone who is using their common sense and is looking at those messages, you know that ain't no way a man is going to send a woman like threads upon messages, days upon days and videos, unless that woman has some form of consent or is misleading that man or is leading him on because she has some ulterior motive. But let's get into some of the exact details of what they are saying in this report from the Daily Mail. Because <laughs> we know that Kanye West is always thrown under the bus, right? No, um, the Daily Mail is saying that Kim Kardashian, 43, is said to be disappointed and is finding it increasingly trying to deal with the constant troubling headlines about her ex who used anti-Semitic lyrics on his latest album and declared he would go death con on Jewish people. Oh, finally, they have corrected that, right? They have corrected that. No. They're saying that as a woman and as a mother of two young girls, to hear about these allegations of sexual harassment is demoralizing for Kim, an insider told Daily Mail exclusively. But, I mean, Kim is demoralizing to society. Look at all that Kim has been promoting. Even when they did that sex tape with Ray J and then publicly lied on Ray J, accused Ray J of revenge porn, and they did that for over a decade and then come back and they did it again on national TV, faking a lie detector test, driving Ray J to the point of almost insanity. So how is it that you like to say, 
you know, you're tired of this person doing that. You're pointing fingers at your ex-husband. But what about the mess that you have been doing consistently? You know, making people believe that you were there with Odell Beckham Jr. And you were this homewrecker because you wanted clout. You're this clout chasing bunny. So you're always throwing your ex-husband under the bus, providing that this report is factual. Because, you know, sometimes... These media outlets will tell you that the celebrity said X, Y, Z, and in fact, the celebrity has no um, saying or doing in their report that they have put out. But why I want to tend to believe that Kim would say something like this is because Kim and Chris uses the media a lot to torment and harass Ye. And whenever something is going on with Ye, they normally try to capitalize on it. Because remember, Kim regrets divorcing her husband. You know, she regrets uh, sacrificing her family for fame and fortune. So every time it seems as though Ye is on the water, she's going to use that as an opportunity to make herself look good to say, see, luckily I left you because if I didn't leave you, you would be a jeopardy to my family and my brand and all of that. So, you know, sometimes she do does say something, but sometimes the media, I have to be honest, definitely lies on her as well, right? But let us continue. They're saying that she had to deal with his racist rants, his mental health concerns, his porn venture, and everything else. How did she have to deal with his porn venture when Kim is a porn star herself? Like, how does that even make any sense? But let us continue, right? They're saying the Skips found a married West in 2014. And all of that, the kids, she is disappointed with a man she wants in love with. He is the father of her kids and that will never change and goes away and goes a long way. But to deal with all this extra nonsense is trying as one would expect. She's not happy. Come on. Ye has to deal with more than that from Kim. Just imagine you ca- you basically have worked all your marriage, the years of your marriage and relationship for your wife to be respected by people. And the moment that the marriage is over, your wife went ahead and started doing dumb shit, posting up with a boy, telling the internet you chase after this younger guy because, you know, you heard that he had big DE and you were DTF. I mean, come on. <laughs> if Kim is going to talk about embarrassment and consistent shenanigans, she needs to first talk about herself because I think that Kim has paved the way for, as Ray J said, um, he thinks that him and Kim starts only fan, but only fans, but I don't believe that. I don't, um, I'm not going to side with that, but I'm just saying that, you know, Kim cannot say certain things about EA because she has done it. And these are allegations against Ye, you know? So, I mean, at this point, it's really giving the Lulu. Acting as though you haven't been doing these things, you know, talking about his porn venture. He had a porn venture. You have porn videos that you're even now trying to legally block from hitting, you know, the public. So, I mean... Why are you pointing fingers at Ye and not pointing them at yourself? Before you talk about Ye, pick the beam out of your eyes. But I understand the need for Ye to really try and do his best to stay as much as to stay out of drama as much as he can, because we have Kim and her entire family that's always in mess, always in drama, and he really has to think about the kids. And as such, this is why I believe that he should fight this case, not listen to the people on the internet and settle out of court to do any damage control. In this era, there's no such thing as damage control. The only damage control you can do is to prove your innocence. And anyone, again, with common sense, can see that Lauren Fischetta is definitely lying. But that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know, what are your thoughts? While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.